our last lecture, we talked about how a microcontroller can put itself into a low power mode and then allow itself to be woken up again by an interrupt alarm clock. Your microcontroller has more than one type of low power mode. You can think of this as different levels of sleep. At night, you can be totally asleep. However, on a lazy afternoon, you may just be taking a light nap. Here's the cover page of the MSP430 FR6989 datasheet. It indicates some of the different low power modes your microcontroller has available. In fact, your microcontroller has seven different low power modes. Each one progressively puts your microcontroller into a deeper and deeper sleep, consuming less and less energy. This chart shows you the relative levels of energy consumption your microcontroller might consume in its different operating modes. Active mode, that is when the microcontroller is fully awake, consumes the most energy. You can see the significant reduction in the energy consumption as the microcontroller moves from active mode to low power mode 0, then 2, and then 3, and eventually to its deepest sleep, low power mode 4. In the handouts for this section, we'll show you step by step how to put your microcontroller into a low power mode and how to wake up your microcontroller once again with interrupts. Take a look, and as always, please let us know how we can help.